If you're writing your React forms, something similar to what you're seeing now, with a bunch of use state hooks for every single field in your form, and then you have a value and an on change handler for every single input for your form. This is so much code for something which can be accomplished without using state at all. We don't need to use state at all when building out React forms. Let me show you. So in our inputs here, we need to make sure that each of our inputs have a name. So I've already added my name attributes to each of my inputs. We've got first name, last name, company name, telephone number, and email address. Then what we want to do is make sure we get rid of these on change and values. So let's get rid of on change and value for every single input. So this is already clearing up our form to make it look a lot nicer and a lot less code already. We want to make sure we keep the name, remember, but we want to remove on change and value attributes on all of our inputs. Then what we want to do is, of course, get rid of all these gross use state hooks. So let's remove all these use state hooks. We no longer need to import use state from React, but within our handle submit for our form, what we can do is grab all of our form data here by going const form data and setting this equal to new form data. Now this form data here is built in with JavaScript and all we need to pass is the element for our form. So we can go e.currentTarget. Then on our form data here, we can grab all of our form data and we can grab our form data by using our input names. So for example, if I wanted to grab the email address, we could go const email and set that equal to formdata.get and the name we gave our email was email address with a capital A. So we can go email address in here. Let's console log our email. And let's take a look at this in the browser console logs. For our email, let's put test at test.com. Let's hit submit on our form. And there we go. We've got email test at test.com. If we wanted to grab every single item without having to use the dot get method for every single form data item, what we could do is instead we could go for let and open up a set of square brackets here because what we're about to do here is going to return an array with two elements and each element in the array is going to be a key and a value. So element zero in the array will be the key of our input name. So for example, first name, last name, company, etc. So in here we could go key and then the second element in the array will be the value. So for example, our first name value, our last name value, etc., etc. So we want to go let key value of form data dot entries and entries is a function. So then all we need to do is let's console log our key and value for each of our form data items. Let's remove the email console log. So let's take a look now in the browser. Let's add some dummy data in here. First name, example, last name. I'll just keep it at that for now. Let's hit submit. And there we go. In our console log, we can see each of our data items for our form all printing. We can see our first name is set to first name. We have example last name, and we have our key and our value. So this is the way better way to build out forms in React without having to use the use state hook and without having to add a value and an on change handler to every single element in our form.